I've held off on doing this as long as I possibly can. So I've got to lay a few new ground rules for my shop. And if you are interested in restoration work with me, these are going to be the new rules I require going forward. Labor rates are subject to change at any given time. So I'm not going to hammer down a labor rate or, or whatever just for the way the world is and the inflation is out of control. I simply cannot promise you a year or two years later or whenever that I'm going to work on your car that a labor rate is going to be the same. Just can no longer do that. But that's not what this major part of this video is about. What has spawned this is I am going down my list calling people and people seem to be uh, having things that have came up and whatever and you know life happens and I get that but there's got to be some type of I hate to say it use it like this but some type of punishment for not doing what you say you're going to do so from here on forward this is the way things are going to be I'm also going to give you a rundown of about what you can expect to spend on a typical paint job these days. Number one, basically canceling on me, no matter the circumstance, that can't happen any further. So what I'm going to require, anyone who wants on my schedule for any work, that's going to be considered a paint job or a restoration is going to be a $500 non-refundable deposit. $500. If you call me and you tell me you need to move further down my list, that is perfectly fine and we will work that out. But if I'm ready to start on your car and the week or days ahead you tell me you're not sending your car, I'm sorry, you just lost your deposit. And I'm not saying, you know, two, three years down the road, if you want to get back, you know, or even months, if you want to get back on the schedule, we might work something out. But until at that very moment, you have lost your deposit and you have lost your spot on my schedule. I tell other people what my schedule is based on talking to you or you or you and having you on my schedule. If I tell someone it's going to take a year, that's because I've got this person, this person, this person on my schedule. So there's got to be some consequences for telling me one thing and doing another. Most restoration shops require a pretty hefty deposit just to get in line. So I think a $500 deposit is very fair and it's going to work out good for me. It's going to work out good for y'all. I don't like keeping up with your money. I'll be the first to tell you that. That's why I don't, I have never wanted to do a deposit based schedule. And I kind of just went by people's honesty. Well, unfortunately, the way things are getting, the economy's not good. People are having to use money for other things. That's why if you get on my schedule, there's going to be consequences. You really got to think long and hard before you send me $500 that you might lose before you get on my schedule. That payment will be made cash, check, or PayPal, friends and family. Again, no refunds if you bail out on me without a dang good explanation way ahead of time. Like, say you get an example. Say you get on my schedule uh, today and you give me 500 bucks and then I'm probably not going to start on your car for six months. Well, about three months goes by and you call me and say, hey man, uh, you know, somebody, something, whatever, X, Y, Z's doesn't happen. We'll work, we'll work something out. We'll work something out. But don't call me three days ahead when your car is supposed to be here and say, oh, I'm sorry, uh -uh, it don't work that way. So I hate to have to do this, but from now on, again, $500 non-refundable deposit. Moving forward, the cost of materials, the cost of my labor, because of the cost of living rising so much, and the cost of everything else has caused what used to be a 
investment in your car has turned now turned into fifteen thousand. In twenty sixteen, when I started this, you could buy a roll of tape for four bucks. Now that's twelve bucks. Same thing with all the materials. A fifteen hundred dollar material job is now three thousand. Sandblasting, dustless blasting, acid dipping, whatever you want to have done was probably it was eight hundred to a thousand dollars six or eight years ago. It's now doubled. So for a good paint job on a car that is not the worst, now I'm basing this on about a hundred hours of body and paint labor to get it painted, not including cut and buff, but just about a hundred hours plus materials at the current labor rate of what I've moved to. And again, that's subject to change. <laughs> you got to, you got to really got to figure about 15 grand. And I'm not the one that wanted to say it takes $15,000 to have a nice paint job. $500 deposit, non-refundable, and you're going to be looking at about $15,000 for the average paint job. Some is going to be less, some is going to probably be more. If you rust bucket carcass in here and I have to spend 100 hours replacing your car, well, there's $10,000 right there. So now you can add another $10,000 for the body and paint. Now you're going to be twenty dollars or $25,000. I can't stay doing this on hopes and dreams of people going to bring their car. I actually have to do the work and get paid. So those are the two biggest things I needed to cover. $500 deposit to get on my schedule. From now on, if it is a small job you want done and you are 100% sure you are going to get it done, like a roof replacement, patch panels, floor pans, trunk pans, whatever, that type of stuff that I only have the car usually a week, two weeks at most, you need to also give me some sort of deposit. I'm going to say $100. You give me a $100 deposit, non-refundable, that'll go towards shop materials. And I trust me, I'm going to burn through $100 in shop supplies really quickly doing a job like that. Welding wire is not cheap. Grinding wheels are not cheap, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So no. That's gonna go to that'll go toward the shop supplies that I burn through anyway. So you'll be well ahead. The money's don't disappear. It it goes to pay for what it's supposed to pay for. But I've got to have we've got to have some type of something here. You know, it can't be all one sided. And I've let it be one sided because I want my customers to feel comfortable. But I got to get a little more strict here. Number three, when I call you. I'm going to give you two weeks. Jobs on a two-week notice. Well, you get a two-week notice to bring me your car. If you say okay, then that's what we're going with. If you say, well, I'm going on this lavish vacation. I'm going to be gone a month. Okay, that's fine. We'll work that out. But otherwise, I'm giving you two weeks to get me your car unless we've made prior arrangements. None of this kicking the football down the road. If you don't have, if you're not ready within two weeks, I'm going on to the next person. I think I've got this covered. Number four. My lifestyle has greatly changed in the last year. I am no longer available at anyone's beck and call when you text or call me. I respond to calls and texts as I can. I'd hardly ever answer the phone during the day to get work done. If you must talk to me on the phone, it needs to be at my convenience. I'm not calling you and talking to you on the phone when I'm taking my leisurely drive in my classic car out to eat, or I'm spending time with my wife, or I'm at the at the first generation club meet or something like that. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I used to do stuff like that. I'm not doing it anymore. I can, I'm not as available as I used to be. And that's the way it's going to stay. Text, I prefer because I can respond at my leisure. I cannot hold a phone to my ear and work. I put my emails in the video description. Email, and that's a good way to contact me also. Uh, email, you can send me a message of what your inquiry is of different type of work you want to have done, and we'll go from there. And then, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and lay a few ground rules from now on. Going forward, when you contact me about a restoration, these are gonna be the ground rules you got to agree to before we even move forward. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send you back an email and say yes. I'm gonna say, okay, here's my rules and whatever. And one very more important thing that also needs to be mentioned, you must have Haggerty or some type or Grundy, some type of, but I'm gonna say Haggerty, collector car insurance on your car before you bring it to my shop. It needs to be covered. I don't do stupid stuff to catch the shop on fire, but I can't control lightning, tornadoes, hurricanes. We've never had any of that here, thank the Lord. But I'm just telling you, all of that stuff needs to be covered and your car needs to be covered here at my shop. That's your responsibility, it's your car, you cover it. So, no deposit, no schedule. You can get on the schedule, but you better have some insurance before you get here. You um, leave me hanging three days before your car gets here, deposit's gone. Any inquiries, Information in the video description, Jared1970 Monte Carlo at yahoo.com. For some reason, that email address ever gets corrupted. It'll be in the, my, that's been my email since I've been in high school, but it'll be in the, any new emails would be in the video description. Also, any labor rates or any of that will be discussed at the time of when you are actually getting on the schedule. So anyway, with that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time. Again, this ain't something I wanted to have to do, but it's something I have to do. Any information, send me a message to my email, and I'll get back with you as soon as we can if we need to discuss it on the phone. I'll be glad to do it again at my convenience and yours, and we'll go from there. So with that being said, Thanks to all my customers and future customers. But this is just something that I had to address. And I think it's going to save me and you trouble down the road. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.